Hi folks, Bill of the North here, and a quick video today about tightening and keeping tension on your ridge line, specifically for a rain fly, but I guess you could use this for anything. If you're like me, uh, you have clumsy fingers and not a great repertoire of knots, and also I have trouble remembering how some of these tensioning gadgets work. So I kind of came up uh, with a way that works pretty good for me and I thought I would share it. I'm using this, I think it's Amsteel or Dyneema roll, cordage, and it's very slippery. And I found uh, that a lot of the other ways of keeping it taut just didn't do it, didn't do the job. So this is uh, something that I've been playing with and I'll show you how it works. Hopefully it will help you. This is a loop alien and I found that they didn't hold the tension as well as I would have liked with this slippery cordage. Someone's probably going to tell me I hooked it up wrong, but that is an issue. If you get to camp at the end of the day and you're tired and you spend 20 minutes trying to remember how to use a gadget, then it's um, not a time saver. This is a trucker's hitch and uh, seems to have worked pretty well for me this summer so far. I have a carabiner in there just to keep this loop from, from pulling through. You can use a toggle if you want. A couple of the problems with this though is if it's winter time and your hands are thick and numb and or it's, you're just using my hands which don't have a lot of dexterity um, this could be a problem to hook up and with this slippery rope this also loosens up that's not a great method to uh, keep tension on our ridge line so what I'm going to do is make a little modification and eliminate this loop replace it with a loop attached to the rope with a prusik knot there is the loop with the Prusik. The benefit is that I can leave this on the line and the Prusik itself is a knot that I easily remember. I don't have to relearn it every time. <laughs> Down here, the carabiner just keeps that from pulling out. And if this loosens up, as is want to happen, just tighten the Prusik a little bit and get my tension back. The beauty of the Prusik is that you can add more loops to it. And I've got three on each side on this, and it's still having a little trouble holding tension. This is real slippery stuff, but I could do another loop around and get some more friction on there, more tightening. Uh, but this is a lot easier to, to set up, I think, and to maintain that tension, to adjust the tension over time. I think it's a better way to do it. And I can remember it, and I can do it with cold hand, Practice, practice, practice. I always try to practice my knots and practice using my gear, setting it up and my gadgets and all of that. It makes things go a lot smoother in camp. 